Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at similar triangles. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so what do we mean by similar triangles? Uh, in similar triangles, let's say we've got this blue triangle here, and then we got this red triangle on top of that. So these two triangles, they're similar. Now you might ask, well, how is it similar? And I'm about to show you guys this. Okay, so let's take the first, the, the blue triangle. Let's say this is angle theta. All right. And then we've got the red triangle. We can say that the red triangle also has the same angle as the blue triangle. So we can actually say that's also angle theta. Now, obviously, the blue triangles, um, uh, I'm looking at this side here. This is the opposite side of the blue triangle. I'm going to call it OB. All right. And this is the adjacent side, which is going to be AB. The reason I'm putting the little B is uh, just for the colors, because if I look at the red triangle, the bottom side of the triangle, the base of the triangle is going to be opposite. And that's going to be the red triangle. And the adjacent of the red triangle is here. Now you can also look at the hypotenuse. So you've got hypotenuse of the red triangle and hypotenuse of the blue triangle. So the reason I'm, I'm bringing Sokotoa into this is because I want to show you guys that the ratios of these two triangles are, in fact, similar. That's the idea behind it. So if I was to say, <clears throat> let's say I'm going to use um, uh, tan, tan rule. I mean, I could use any one of them. All right, you can try it out with cos if you want. But I'm going to try it out with tan. So if I have tan of theta, uh, let me do this. I'm going to do the blue triangle first. So for tan for theta could be written as opposite over adjacent. But if I was to do tan of theta in um, the red triangle, then I'm going to get opposite of the red triangle divided by adjacent of red triangle. So basically what we have is we've got two tan thetas. And what we can do is we can actually say each of them equal to each other. So you can say tan theta equals tan theta, which means we can actually have opposite of the blue side divided by adjacent of the blue side. They're actually equal to opposite of the red side divided by the adjacent of red side. <clears throat> now, folks, you can actually try this with sine and cos. And what you'll find is you pretty much getting the same idea. So where you'll have opposite over hypotenuse equals opposite over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse equals adjacent over hypotenuse. All right, moving on. So here's a, a similar triangle here. I forgot to mention that they both have theta as an angle. So we've got, um, we've got the similar triangle here and we're trying to figure out what X is. Now, you can do it the long, long way, folks. All right, you can actually try and work out like uh, tan theta and sine theta or cos theta and whatever, and you can put them equal to each other. But the way I'm going to show you guys is by just looking at the triangles themselves. And I will show you a couple of different ways of doing this. So obviously, the first method is looking at, at using the tan cos of sine. If I was to do that, I'm going to take the little triangle inside. So that's going to become my opposite. Five is going to become my adjacent. The outside, X is going to be O, opposite. 15 is going to be adjacent. So according to my theory, it was basically O over A equals O over A, because they're both tan thetas, which in this case, the red triangle, I'm going to write it first. So I'm going to have X divided by adjacent, which is 15. And that is equal to the blue one, which happens to be 4 for the opposite, divided by 5, which is the adjacent. So rearranging this, I'm actually going to be getting x is equal to 15 times 4 divided by 5. And so x is equal to 12 centimeters. All right, that's one way of doing it. The second way of doing it is by looking at um, multipliers. So see how we've got 5 here, and then we've got 15 here. The question is, 
what number are you multiplying by 5 to get to 15? And you could actually work this out by saying 15 divided by 5 equals to 3. So in other words, the big triangle is 3 times the small triangle. If that's the case, then if you have 4 here as your height of the triangle, then when it's made bigger by 3, you're going to go 4 times 3, which equals to 12. And what you'll notice is that's the same answer as what we actually did with our working out as well. Cool. Another example. So with this example, we still have the uh, same kind of idea, similar triangle. Um, again, I forgot the theta here, guys. Same angle. So once again, you can do opposite over adjacent divided by opposite over adjacent. But with this case, just keep in mind for the big triangle, your base is actually going to be the total of these two distances, which is 8 centimeters. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys the quick, quick method first. So what number am I multiplying by 5 to get to 8? Well, I can do that by 8 divided by 5, which equals to 1.6. That means the big triangle is 1.6 times the small triangle. So if I was to work out what x is, I've got to go 4 times 1.6, which equals to 6.4 centimeters. Okay, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it would be to write it like this. So I have x. Uh, I might actually do the opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent equals opposite over adjacent. So we've got x which is the unknown, divided by 8, and that equals to, for the uh, little triangle, we have opposite is 4, because that's the opposite, that's the adjacent, and we got 4 over 5. So then we could write this as x equals 8 times 4, divided by 5, and x equals to 6.4 centimeters. Okay, next question. Now, not all the time are you going to get with opposite over adjacent, all right? Because, you, because you're not going to have right angle triangles. Um, but the ratios kind of still work um, in this sense. It's like you don't need to put it as opposite over adjacent, but you can use the sides. So, for example, in this case, the brown triangle, I'm going to um, say that this angle here is the common angle for the brown triangle and the blue triangle. All right, if that's the case, what I can then say is basically say, where's my blue pen? So I'm going to call this uh, side one, all right, and the bottom here as side two. If that's the case for the, for the, well, I should really use red color. Hang on, let me just change the colors, guys. So I'm going to call this side one and side two, which means for the light blue, blue triangle, this is side one. And side 2 is the big base line that's x there. So I can write this up as an equation now, which is to say, I could actually say side 1 divided by side 2 equals to side 1 divided by side 2 of the second blue triangle. So at this point, I need to start filling up the numbers. So side 1 is 4, side 2 is 5. And that is equal to side 1 is 5 and side 2 is x. So rearranging this, I am going to get, um, what do we got? x times 4 over 5 equals 5. And then x times 4 equals 5 times 5, which is 25. And x equals 2. 25 divided by 4. So x is equal to 6.25 centimeters. Now, if I was to do this, um, the other shortcut method is having a look at this. What number am I multiplying by 4 to get to 5? So I can do 5 divided by 4 equals 1.25. So that means the blue triangle is 1.25 times the red triangle. So it's a scale factor which means if I have the base here as 5, and if I do 5 multiplied by 1.25, that should actually give me what x is. And in this case, 
x is equal to 6.25 centimeters. So yeah, you got two ways of doing this, guys. Uh, and you can choose any one of them to actually see which one works. Okay, moving on. Now this is the last question um, for this session here. In this question, I've asked you to find the perimeter of a similar triangle to triangle ABC, where the length of the new AB is five meters. So I guess what you, what I want you guys to think about is, is you got this little triangle. It's a similar triangle, all right, which means it's going to have same theta, but we're dealing with something like that, a bigger triangle. All right. Now the new AB is five meters, which means from here to here is five meters. Now the first thing I'll do, guys, is actually convert so that they're the same units. So instead of five meters, I'm going to make this into 500 centimeter, as one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. All right. Now we want to be finding the perimeter of the shape, so I need to work out what the hypotenuse CB is. So if I work out what CB is, um, to do that I use a right angle Pythagoras theorem. So I've got CB squared equals AB squared plus AC squared. So I've got CB squared equals AB squared is 4 squared plus 3 squared. CB squared equals 25. So CB equals to 5 centimeters. So that means this length here is five centimeters. So now I need to figure out if AB is 500, so this is AB, the new AB, I need to work out what um, a the new AC is and the new CB is and then add the total up. So first off I got to figure out what scale factor this triangle is becoming big by. So I've got four obviously being multiplied by a scale factor to equal 500. So 4 times a scale factor equals 500. So k equals 500 divided by 4, which means it's getting increased by a scale factor of 125. So that means the new AC equals 3 centimeters multiplied by 125. So this new length of AC is going to be 250, 375 centimeters or 3.75 meters. The new CB is going to be 5 centimeters times scale factor of 125, which gives 625 centimeters or 6.25 meters. All right, so the, for the new version, we've got 6.25 meters and 3.75 meters as the height. So perimeter of the new shape is 6.25 plus 3.75 plus 5. And that should give us 15 meters. So guys, that means the new perimeter is going to be 15 meters for the big triangle that we've actually scaled up. So that's one way of doing it. The other way you could have done it is also by actually calculating the perimeter of the red triangle. So you can actually go 4 centimeter plus 3 centimeters plus 5 centimeters. So red, let me show you guys another way of doing this. So for the red triangle, the perimeter is 4 plus 3 plus 5, and that is... 12 centimeters. Now, if you're going to make the triangle bigger by a scale factor of k, the perimeter is also going to increase by a scale factor of 125, which means that's equal to 1500 centimeters. And what you'll notice is that's the same as this answer here, which is 15 meters. Cool. That's basically it for, the, uh, for this session, guys. Um, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Um, apart from that, thank you for watching.